Before watching any more of this video tutorial, I have to recommend that you make this video full screen in your browser and are hopefully viewing it on a monitor that is high definition, 1920 by 1080p is the recommended viewing resolution. So assuming you have now made it full view and you're excited to see just how many games can you watch at once on chess.com and what is the best possible viewing experience, that's what we're going to learn in this video. To start, we have to navigate to the live chess arena. You can do this again by going to chess.com slash live, manually type that in the URL address bar, or go over to the play live chess option and enter the arena. Now, observing one game is often enough for most of us human beings, and if it's a great player like Hikaru Nakamura or Magnus Carlsen or anybody else playing in our live server, that's probably enough to hold our attention and to engage with currently 21 observers in the chat. However, during special events like the Pro Chess League, or if you're somebody who just wants to watch all the Grand Masters going at it and one isn't good enough for you, we want to pull up multiple games. To do this, we go into the Events tab first and foremost. That is the little watch goggles. You're watching chess. We can see all of the top games going right now, and if we were relaying a top event like the Norway Chess Super Final or a Reykjavik Open, you would see a ton of games by Grand Masters over the board as well. Now, I just clicked on a game, and so you saw that we have two boards now open. Let's go ahead and click on a few more and really push the limit here of how many analysis boards we can have open at once on the right side. How many games can we realistically be observing to keep track of it all? I'm going to really push the limit and go down and open just about as many as I see fit here. I've got about 10 boards going. Now, the first thing you'll notice that as it fills up the right side of your browser at full screen is that if you hold your mouse over, you can actually see a really cool small little preview of that game, including the times that are available and whose move it is based on where that little mouse is bouncing back and forth. So if you're somebody who all you want is sort of a casual, passive snapshot, you're getting just about everything you want from this little preview of the right side bubble, and you can click whatever board you currently want to have at the full screen board mode, as we can see here, the one I'm watching. And if I want to change, I can just click to a new one. But for some of us, this small board preview or seeing the times here and only one board being in focus at a time is not enough. What we'd like to do is have all the chess boards open so we can see what's going on in full view. To do that, we start at the top. We hold our mouse over the resize option, which gives us a whole bunch of options. If you're not familiar with the resize board option, you should be. One, it allows you to do that. But two, it brings up a whole set of options, including letting you access your live chess settings. But for now, we are going to just click this little button and detach this game. As soon as we detach a game, it automatically creates a board that is much easier to see than this small little preview board, if you don't disagree. And it also shows us the most critical information. It shows us the current grudge score of the match. If they've been playing here, they've played up to five games, it looks like, and that's the, that's the match going down between these two players. It shows us the usernames and the time remaining. If we'd like to see more, we can simply drag at the bottom of this board and we can now see the notation. Uh, we can even download the game, see what's going on in the chat, and just about everything we would want. Uh, the bigger you make it, the more options you're going to have as far as observing that game. But we're not really here to see just one game in full to go along with the other big board we have here. We don't, we don't want to see all this information. We want to see as many boards as we can open. So now we're going to go to the second one and we're going to detach another one automatically it places it over the previous board and we simply change that by dragging it down and we can fill up a screen just like that put it right there let's do it again let's detach another board let's really uh, push the limits here so as we see we just attached another board actually that game ended so it didn't quite work so we're going to do it with this one and now we have another board detached and now we're going to do another board detached we can fill up our browser. I'm not even sure how many boards I could get. I've never actually tried to fill up my massive 22-inch monitor here um, with, uh, with all the possibilities, but I'm assuming that I can get, let's see, I can get a row of about five down low, five up top. That means 10 boards being viewed at once if I continued along this path. Of course, if I decide I'm done with a game or maybe their match finishes, I might just close right out of it. Now, again, any of these boards can be made bigger. If at some point you have, let's say, all 10 open and one of them gets particularly interesting, well, you can instantly click the one button detach and it'll just make it back to the big board. So 
If you're tired of having all of them open, you can close them out or detach, reattach one at a time. Or as we said, if you want to keep all of them open and uh, but you do want to learn more, one way to do that is to just keep it open and make it bigger, allowing you to focus a little bit more on this one while the others continue to roll in the background. So for fastest observing, you will open as many boards as you'd like from your particular team in the Pro Chess League or the event you're watching, then go one board at a time, detach the boards as you see fit, and eventually create an experience with your big monitor where you can observe and follow a whole lot of chess at once as if we're capable of seeing everything in that amount of time anyway. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about uh, the, the, the current setup for how to observe multiple games at once, or if you have any feature suggestions or uh, feedback you'd like to give us to make improvements to this system, go ahead and leave it right below here in the comments. We are always listening. And uh, go ahead and enjoy watching a dozen Grandmaster games at once from your home or office.